the conversion strategy. So have you ever been in a situation where people are winging it? I mean, just winging it. And you never quite know where the conversation, the process, the plan is gonna go. It doesn't feel very comfortable. They've hired you as a professional to come with an action plan, a strategy, and I call it the four-step plan in getting the listing. And so number one is the conversational part. This is the part that you build rapport. This is where you connect with them as clients. And how do you do that? Well, there's so many ways to do it. Number one, though, is to just ask a lot of curious questions. Curious questions about what they do, what they do for fun. Have them show you around the home, which is very important. But while I'm walking around the home, I'm picking up on things. Maybe pictures of sports that they enjoy or pieces of art that they hang on the wall. These are all things that I can start to connect and build what I call the safe island conversation. What do I mean by safe island? I could be on an island with them talking about something that is near and dear to them that is making them feel comfortable and we connect at that safe island, whatever that may be, whether that's sports, entertainment, art, connections in the community, even things like restaurants that they enjoy, whatever it may be. You need to connect with them on a personal level without going too deep where it becomes more than personal. After the safe island, we want to start reviewing their goals. So often at this point, I'll say, hey, can we get down to business? See, because if you just keep talking rapport, at some point, they're going to go like, aren't we here to do business? And this is where we start reviewing their goals, which we already kind of know because the conversations we had over the telephone before I showed up for the appointment, we kind of walked our way through what was the master plan that they wanted. But again, I want to review it. Make sure that I hear it. Make sure I understand it. I'm writing notes at this point. See, when you write notes, they're going, hey, this guy is listening to us, which is so important. See, listening is one of the most important negotiating skills that we can have. When we listen, we learn, and now we can tailor our presentation to them. So important. After reviewing the seller's goals, now it's our turn to present our results. What we do, how we do it, our marketing, the way we're positioned in the marketplace, our market share, what we do on social media, whatever it may be, whatever is your shtick, so to speak. See, we all have something that's unique to us. That's the beautiful thing about real estate. What you do is different than what I do. And there's nothing wrong with being different. We just need to own it and do it very well. So this is where I present what I do for my sellers. This is my master plan plan to getting the results that they're looking for. Your master plan needs to be unique to you. What's your unique selling proposition versus the other however many thousand agents there are out there? See, when they see the passion in you, they will buy into you and then you've got the opportunity to move forward. So the last step is listing the property at the right price. Now this can be a challenge, of course. You know, what is your price versus their price? Bringing great data is the most important thing. So what is recently sold? What is active in the marketplace? What is expired? These are the three tools that we use, of course, with property. But beyond that, you need to bring stats that show how many actives are on the marketplace, how many solds are on the marketplace. What is the STR for their neighborhood? The absorption rate. See, I call it the sell-through rate. Why do I call it something different? See, the sell-through rate is something that they relate to better than the absorption rate. And even more importantly than the absorption rate versus the sell-through rate, I'm bringing words, terminology that is different than all the other agents. So you need to be unique. One of my unique selling propositions is this. I don't want to sound like all the other agents. Here's a pro tip, a hack. Instead of calling it a listing, so not saying I want to list your property, I want to create an event around your property. Everything I do, I want to be different than the rest. Even though it's relatively the same, I want to share it in a different way. I want to share it in a way that is unique to me, but they've never heard it that way. And so in the listing price side of it, of course, we bring our comparables. We also bring the stats that will help us. And we'll bring our track record, as well as, this is really important, third-party validation, testimonials of others, headlines of what's happening in the marketplace, because if I share something, it's Randy's version. It's Randy's piece to get the listing at this price. But if I bring in headlines from NBC, CBC, whatever the news outlet is, it has a lot more weight than coming out of my mouth. So third-party validation to help you with the numbers as well.